But what about the leftover men and women? I have high standards, but is that the problem? Too many high standards? Bear in mind, this video is quite harsh. I mean, damn, this video is... Yeah. yeah. From the New York Times, China doesn't like that I'm a single woman. Here's why. But before we begin, welcome back. Glad you could join me again. This, of course, is Replicant Fish, a common, heartless Android bastard. But I hope you're doing well. Hope your weekend was good. Hope your start of the week was good. And I hope this one will make you think, if not laugh or be entertained. But before I continue, I have a quick question. In talking of high standards, let me ask you this question to begin. Now, do not get in your feelings. It's a simple question. The question being, in talking of, and this applies to everyone listening, in talking of the survival of your race, let's say, you have to make sure you fill in the point of who is going to take care of the leftovers or those that not many people want. For instance, Skippy as an example. Should there be a crop of Caucasian women that set themselves aside for Skippy to make sure that Skippy isn't Skippy? He doesn't have a Virginity Rocks t-shirt, good God. Oh God. He may have one that says Vag Rocks, which may mean she has an STD, ah. but seriously. Like my point is, Regardless of your background, your race, whatever you are, whether you're black, white, Asian, Indian, Latino, whatever you are, do you believe that there should be someone for everyone? Because we have this saying, oh, there's someone for everyone. Bullshit. Oh, there's someone for everyone. Everyone has a soulmate. Proper bullshit. All that crap, all that nonsense. But in reality, is that true? Yeah. Should there really be someone for everyone? Damn. No one cares. And this applies to women as well. Suck it. Think of all the horrid women, the horrid, like, sort of women you'd never go near. What about in terms of continuing humanity, or even your race, if you will, to another level? You, obviously, you would, you'd breed with those, uh, oh god, I'm gonna be sick, the, uh, those, you know, those women that you, you, you probably wouldn't look at otherwise. Oh god. Uh, oh, wow, god problems. Uh, you know what I mean? Obviously, there are standards. Many do have standards, but also, most human beings are quite selfish. Just like a woman. So the question is, is there really someone for everyone? No one cares. Is there? But enough waffling. Let's begin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And this woman is about to be very straightforward. You think I'm cold? You think I'm cold? Oh my god, please, please. But you're not beautiful in the traditional sense. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 Wait, she's not done. She's not done. She's not done. I don't mean you're not pretty, I mean you're not a beauty. Wow, like Shong Niu. Flip sake, okay. And also you're really old. Damn. Well, this woman's, damn, she's, this woman's harsh. She's scolding this woman hard, like flipping hell. At the same time, she's being bluntly honest with the woman. Would you say? Or would you say she's being horrible to the woman? She's not telling her the fantasy the woman wants to believe. But do you think it more damaging to believe the fantasy or the reality that, you know, come on, love, like, yeah, come on, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're nothing special. You're nothing special. Do you think you're at the perfect age for the marriage market? Now, now, to clarify this point, people get married at various ages. There are more than enough people that get married past the ages of 30 and 40, obviously, to whatever ages. However, the point here, I understand her meaning, is young enough to marry and bear children. Young enough to start a family is what she means. You might think you look young. Oh my God, the look on her face. Ah, oh, look. 
felt like the pain. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm not laughing at her pain. I'm laughing at my own pain. It's something I'm suffering with. Bullshit. But yes, of course, it's not nice for her to hear these words, but they're true. They are true. I'm not being insulting to say that many women do delude themselves to think that they, they look better than they look because men still give them attention. They know it's not the attention they may have had when they were younger, but because they still get it, they still think it's... This web is on fleek. It's everlasting. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. The truth is the truth. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, her face. Oh, man, her face. Oh, that's hard. Oh, that's, you're fooling yourself. <laughs> oh, I'm in pain. I'm so much pain. With big posters saying, today you're going to marry me. Interesting. Interesting. Somewhat 1984, sort of, you know, yeah. Twenty-seven or older. You see, you see, sometimes in the West we may be a bit more modest and say it's thirty. You know, we say the wall is thirty, but in China, but in China, no, they say no. You're wrong. The wall is twenty-seven. The real wall is twenty-seven. Good God, the the Chinese are serious in terms of this. But then again, you understand why. Many things for them are accelerated, but how far off are we? Oh yeah, oh yeah, go on, pamper yourself up, season yourself up like a chicken. Oh yeah, this should be interesting, she's going on a date. <laughs> so, he's, so he's glad she didn't catfish him, she looks better than her photo, so slight insult compliment, but yeah, that actually works. <laughs> Okay, awkward, very awkward. You know, the thing is, like I've said before, women that do spend so much time on their career, they lack the ability to do this here. Now, yes, we can understand, yes, obviously, you know, many men are, you know, yes, obviously, many men do lack certain social skills, which makes it difficult because. Men are supposed to be the ones to make the move first in the most part, but a lot of women haven't learned to be responsive. You see, that's the problem. We can blame men at the same time. Women should understand a lot of them aren't as responsive as they may think they are. Yeah. Just saying. Oh God, this, this is quite, this is quite boring. My so, I may make a video on that actual subject as well, the choice to have a male or female child. So it's not about love, it's about marriage. Raw, unhinged marriage. Unclenched marriage. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Oh. 
是山东哪儿？滨州吴地啊。我县城的呀。啊，真的？那我们可以到时候那个过过那个放假的时候可以一起回家。对啊，对啊。从大学开始就没想着要回去啊,啊，因为毕竟那个地儿太小了，说实话啊，发展不起来。因为我知道山东还是比较传统啊、嗯，因为它男子主义是非常非常非常严重的。我，因为我知道，然后因为我家其实也是这样子的。那那你觉得，嗯，就是假如说你成家了，会不会延续这样的一种模式？嗯、我觉得，嗯、呃，你要说就像你说的，每个山东男生都有这种，呃，轻大男子主义，只是一个轻微。So every man is a male chauvinist. In the town that they're from, and as we've seen in past videos, a lot of older Chinese men and some women are quite brutal. How old is she? Thirty-two, a little old. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 成一个多少程度的一个东西，一个东西。就是我，我觉得我在未来的婚姻里边，可能，嗯，我还是希望我要占主导地位的。As a man should hope to be dominant. 一个多少程度的一个东西，一个东西，就是我，我觉得我在未来的婚姻里边，可能，嗯，我还是希望我要占主导地位的。主导，嗯，主导，嗯。As men should be for the most part. However, nowadays women only seem to want to be dominated in the bedroom, and only in the bedroom. Proper garden tool, not in the street. And that's why some men just leave them there in the street till they become leftover women. 主导，嗯。对整个家庭里边占主导的，我并不是说你，比如说钻研我手机是什么，我电电视什么情况，可能女生就不要过多的参考了，你只给我提出你的需求就可以了，我来决定。嗯，当然了，能平衡也好，但是我不希望就是女生比我强太多，很多东西你都一下子就这个女生就去做决定了。Wow. Oh no! <laughs> Have you found your Mister Right yet? Oh no! No, not this question. <laughs> not this question. I kind of hate when your parents ask you this question. I don't know why my mom keeps asking me. She needs to stop asking me this question. I have a child already. I've made my commitment to humanity. You know that sounds awful, doesn't it? You know it sounds wrong. I, I do love my son. I love my son. But it's a question many people get, isn't it? Both men and women. Have you found your woman yet? You know you, you found some broad to settle down with. Oh God. You know, or a woman gets asked, has she found her man? Have you found your man? Have you found that knob simp that's going to give you everything? No, seriously, that's <coughs> that's a bit much. But yeah. Love, there's someone for everyone. Bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Keep telling yourself that. <laughs> oh no, granddad's talking. Granddad's talking. Listen, listen. <laughs> Shong Yu, consider your future woman. It's not about your career. No one cares. No one cares. No one cares. It helps for the kids. But yeah, a lot of men don't care. No way. Oh, you're in your thirties and still not married. Damn, he's roasting her <laughs> again. Again, older Chinese men roasting younger women that they, you know, that they, that they're failing. Who cares about your career? Where's your man? Where's your man? Who cares about your job? <laughs> Shong Yu, it really isn't funny. It's just it's just very hard on many women. It's not just the women; it's men as well. Exactly. Exactly. You're highly educated, and you don't want someone with a low social status. Here, here, woof, woof. As men, yeah. At the same time, yes, you can say you understand. No woman wants a broke man. 
However, because of this, many women, in a sense, market themselves out of the market. They think they're better than they are because of their career. Proper bullshit. Which, in a sense, is delusional. But in a sense, you kind of understand because of the lifestyle they have. They don't want to support a man. They want to be supported. Here, here, woof, woof, as men, yeah. <laughs> But you see, it doesn't work like that for women. That is the point. It doesn't work like that for women. Many men of the past with steady jobs would create families, which would be good for society. But many women with steady jobs, they don't want to create families with men because in a sense, you can understand it doesn't really make sense. It's You'd expect men to be the breadwinner. Even though we live in modern times, it's strong, independent women, but yeah, that dynamic doesn't work. And in that, we have the imbalance. You see, for as evil as men are, men have been saving women, in a sense, by marrying them for a long time. Don't tell anyone that. Don't tell anyone that, though. That's a lie. That's a lie. We just treat them as slaves throughout history. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, silence. Oh my God. Look, oh my God. Look, look at the woman. Look, you bastard. You, you bastard. What the hell are you talking about? You're gonna, what the hell are you talking about? You're going to remain single. What the hell, you bastard. <laughs> seriously, seriously, seriously. But you hear how silent it became in the room when she said that. Exactly. Here, here, shout out to all the good dads that did this for their children. Boy or girl, child or children, many men who work themselves to the bone, not only for their wives and women, for their kids as well. Good job. Hence my point at the start. When does it become about you and your family, your race, your species? Exactly. Emotions flared, emotions flared. But you do understand to a degree, some understand to a degree, don't you? <laughs> Whose happiness matters the most? Theirs or yours? But what do you think? We have the saying, there's someone for everyone. Oh, you soulmate, there's someone for everyone. However, what about your own choice? Both men and women are shamed for being single. It's not always their own choice. However, isn't choice a freedom we all think and hope we have? Isn't choice in itself freedom? In that case, would you say commitment is bondage? Yeah, it is. If you strap yourself to a crazy, needy broad, who messes your life up. So yeah, be careful. Either way, be careful. In other words, in other words, focus. Observe. Remember. The world is yours. Have a nice day.